got mugged recently. Um, <laughs> it went quite well. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know how muggings generally go, but I was quite happy with how things turned out, to be honest with you. What happened was, right, I was at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, and I did a gig at two o'clock in the morning, because that's normal up there, do you know what I mean? Comedy at two o'clock in the morning. Round here, you're getting fingered behind the bin. What are you doing comedy for? <laughs> two o'clock in the fucking morning, right? But I did the gig, and I got dead drunk shots. Sambuca, Jaeger bombs, that little green one, the toilet duck one, do you know what I mean? That... <laughs> where you can't see the next day. And I, I was drunk, and I left the gig, right, and I'm walking back to my flat, um, and I, I'm in a good mood. I'm on nice out mode, I'm drunk, do you know what I mean? Put me, put me music in my ears, listening to my favourite band of all time. Um, I've got quite an old-school taste in music, I would say. So, like, what, so, don't be offended, mate. What's your name? Dave. Dave? Nice, that was fucking frightening, that, Dave. <laughs> Dave! <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, Dave, how old are you? 49. I reckon we'll be quite similar. Who would you say is your favourite band of all time? Um, Public Enemy. Public Enemy. Very close. I had S Club 7 on. Do you know them? <laughs> Do you know them? <laughs> if you've never seen them before, you should check them out. Dead similar to Public Enemy. Um, I think they used to write together, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> I love Bradley and the gang. I was having a great time. Um, <laughs> I'm walking back to me flat. And I got to this little alleyway and I thought, that'll be a shortcut to me flat. So I went to go up it. And this guy jumped out. And I know now, because I've got all the information now, I know now that he said, give me your phone, bruv, right? But I couldn't hear him, because I had my earphones in. And he didn't look like a mugger. I don't know what muggers looked like, but he had a lanyard on. It's not a mugger. <laughs> it's not mugging a tire, a lanyard, is it? He looked like he ran a business or worked for a... That's what I thought was going on. I thought he worked for a nightclub trying to get people in. You know, like the people in Concert Square on a Saturday night come and have some shots in here. That's what I thought was going on. So he's jumped out and said, give me your phone. And I've responded drunkenly by going, I'll be honest with you, mate. I don't really want to go to Revolution. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he was as confused as you'd imagine him to be. <laughs> Is that... I don't care where you're going, bruv. I said, give me your phone. And I was like, shit, I'm getting mugged. <laughs> I had a little chat with myself in my own head. I was like, Adam, come on. You've got three options here, okay? Number one, give him the phone and back away. Hope he doesn't hurt you. Number two, you could run. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a waste of everybody's time, now. <laughs> it's going to catch me and then we'll both be out of breath. No one's... Option three, pretend you're so hard it would be impossible for him to take your phone off you. Now, when I'm drunk, I get confident, so... I just screamed in his face, You don't know who I am! And I was right, he had no idea who I was. <laughs> <laughs> it took him by surprise, he takes a step back. He, I can see him looking at me thinking, Is this guy hard enough to stop me taking his phone? And we're in this little alleyway. And there was a three-second silence. And in that three-second silence, the only thing you could hear was S Club 7 coming from my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, bruv, is that S Club 7? And I was so drunk, I thought he was a fan as well, and we were about to bond over it, right? <laughs> so I went, yeah! And he goes, give me your phone. <laughs> And I don't know where this next bit come from, but my drunk brain works differently to me sober one. So I went, no, I've got an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, good, I get good money for them. And I was like, yeah, but Apple have recently introduced a 24-hour support centre. And I can go and call them from that phone box and block it. So if you take my phone, you can't use it and you can't sell it because no one else can use it. So it's pointless you taking my phone. Don't take my phone. And at that point, I thought, he's going to beat me up, because that's not true. I just lied to his face, right? <laughs> but he must, have, he must have just thought that sounded real, because he goes, OK, how much money have you got? And I thought, I'm going to be the first person to ever negotiate with a mugger here. <laughs> <laughs> Took me money, I and said, I've got £34. And he said, that'll do. Like I was ripping him off, that annoyed me. <laughs> I thought, I've got this far. I said, I'll be honest with you, mate. I can't really afford £34. 
I'm skint at the minute. I'm starving. I haven't even had a kebab yet. Do you know what I mean? Have you got any special offers on at the minute? Any discounts I could take advantage of? Seems like a stupid thing to do, Dave, doesn't it? Yeah. He took a tenner in the end, right? I don't know about you lot, but I'm very much of the school of thought. If you can get mugged and walk away from that situation thinking, got myself a fucking bargain there. <laughs> Pull out a result, wouldn't you? <laughs>